hi everyone hope you hope you guys are doing good and are keeping well so today we would be talking about e discovery and content uh, content search uh, which are being the two most important tools which are being given by microsoft office 365 in order to be able to search the uh, search the data so starting with myself my name is rizwan and i am one of the senior consultants working here within alif consulting and i am going to quickly walk you through with this e discovery and content search and at the end if you'd be having any questions uh, for this feel feel free to contact us and we'd be more than happy enough to help you on that and the details for that were, are also being getting in displayed at the bottom uh, bar so you can you can get in touch with us so talking talking with e discovery or what what is e discovery so e discovery or an electronic discovery is simply the the process or the way through which uh, you know you can easily get your data in the form of a pst format it it gives you a pst you know a pst file containing all the important data and for many countries unlike when we talk about the 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 states the united states the united kingdom the the, the gulf uh, containing the uae so many of these countries have strict regulation policies when it comes to data breach or compliance level policies so keeping those things in mind microsoft has developed a utility or a tool called as e discovery now what does this this tool does is it would be retaining the amount of data if someone's trying to manipulate with the organization or trying to sue or or make any such uh, you know vulnerabilities in in the future so as an exchange administrator or as a global administrator uh, one would easily be able to keep a close eye on on e discovery features with the help of it one could be able to tell as if you know what's what's hap- what happened with that data and with the regulatory policies whether the data was actually deleted or someone deleted some important stuff and you need to actually get it recovered so all those things would be taken into consideration when you would be running e discovery and the e discovery clearly runs with with the services or uh you know uh, it it gives you services for exchange one drive sharepoint microsoft online and this is a feature which would be available for you in the security and compliance portal center earlier it was listed in the exchange admin center the classic one but right now it has been completely a part of the regulatory act policies as the compliance policy and that is the reason that it has been moved to the security and compliance portal now what is e, 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 the scenario here what what features does e discovery gives you so when we talk about licenses requirement for the e discovery searches to be made yes any any administrator having an e3 or an e5 license or the user itself in over here to be able to access the e discovery tool utility so that uh, advanced uh, you know using you think this uh, the person having the access is to easily be able to run an e discovery search and make the necessary regulations and the second one in over here which speaks about data sources that are included in e discovery search as discussed and tell uh, and said you'd be able to make searches again exchange mailboxes and public folders sharepoint sites one drive for business microsoft 365 groups teams channel which is again a part of teams and yama and the search criteria in over here could be with any of the keywords in like on on the start and the end date the sender the recipient the message kind it could be an email content a calendar content or a notes content it could also be start date uh, i believe i've told you yes start date and there would be many such many such criteria i'll quickly walk you through with those criteria when we'd be seeing it uh, using the help of the gui the graphic user interface and and i'll quickly walk you through with that now when to use e discovery search and content search because many of the people hardly are being unaware as if you know what is content search or in what scenarios they'd actually be performing a content search or uh you know uh, and any e discovery search so just keep these things in mind because whenever you done uh, run an e discovery case the case gets in created into the security and compliance portal where it would be centrally uh, you know captured or or can have access to the other e discovery administrators or the e discovery managers because there's two roles within it uh, that is the e discovery manager and the e discovery administrator so the discovery manager in over here 
means that he'll only be able to keep an eye on his own cases the one which he creates but if he would be in a part of an e discovery administrator so along with his case every single case getting in created within the e discovery is a uh, portal he would be able to have complete access on that and he'd be able to preview those messages and can also get those messages however uh, the content search is actually not being responsible for that the content search is not going to provide you with any legal or any ad administrative capab uh, capabilities unlike e-discovery so this feature is simply to you know content your data make that content if there's any one single email entity or identity which has been getting stored within different microsoft services so you can easily get hold of it by using content search because if you are going to see the user interface for both of them it is almost almost the same i mean you'll not find any such obligations for that and you know there's no harm using e-discovery at every point but as for microsoft's best practices and recommendations whenever you would be running through an investigation case or walkthrough you know it's always being recommended that always go with e-discovery and not not with content search because content search uh, are, are still being important for you let's say i can give an ex a quick example wherein a user leaves the org uh, leaves the organization and, and that user has actually uh, created a meeting uh, a, a reoccurring meeting and now once the user left the organization his mailbox is also deleted but uh, he kept the recurring meeting to be repeated for five years now that meeting would come keep on going so in order to be able to stop with that meeting you would be searching in with that meeting with a specific subject and the specific sender though the user would not be a part of the organization but exchange I'm sorry the security and compliance would still be able to manage to search that option or user with the specific subject and once we get the specific subject we can easily delete that email using content search and some security and compliance hold policies because we will be running in a command called as new hyphen compliance search action and we can delete delete that email so or that complete thread so in those cases uh, content search is always the recommended and uh, you know approachable method so this is what the core difference is between an e-discovery and a content search this would be all from my side for this specific lecture because there's nothing much uh, to be verbally getting and discussed on this i believe we can quickly go ahead and get in started with an e-discovery search and i can quickly walk you through with it uh, from this portal probably so let's say if we quickly get this cancelled and if we go on e-discovery there it is so if we go on core e-discovery You can also get it from this portal you can get it from this portal as well that is again the uh, legacy portal protection.office.com and if you see in searches under searches you would see content searching over here and if you see e-discovery there is a separate tab and I'm 100% sure if I'm going to click on this one it is going to redirect me to compliance.microsoft.com exactly where I have clicked on okay so that is almost the same you see this page this is all the you know stage of uh, redirection of links so if i enter oh it's not redirecting me so let me also open content search and just show you a quick glimpse of that so search and a content search okay so this is my content search and if you see and this is again being getting and redirected to content search so e-discovery was here and content search was here i believe both of them you know if you see in the portal and if you quickly compare it so this is content search you see this name content search and this is e-discovery okay see the portal is almost the same create case search new search it is it is almost the same so i'll quickly show you what all options are being actually available within a search so this is a search when i create a search it would look something like this where i would be creating in a search query and if i would be putting any of this you would have heard my lecture which where i was covering about hold so when it says e discovery hold so this is the hold if i would be creating any hold and let's say if i'd be giving i'll be searching a mailbox and i will say just retain this item for seven days so when if those items would be deleted but because this organization hold would be applied to that mailbox so that specific query which i've saved here you know that data is going to be on hold and it is not going to get uh, deleted so I'll show you about this option so you see search I'll open this one over here as well so you see 
for removal of spam email messages this is the best way to be able to get it removed if i click on review samples it is also going to show me the samples so don't get confused within two these two tabs this is e-discovery okay yeah and this is content search so don't get confused just just walking you like side by side to be able to make you understand that you know how does that looks like so i believe that is going to take some time let's go with this one oh i believe the search is still running we'll go with edit search i'm just editing both of these searches you see so this is the search uh, i'll create a new one just to show you the portal so let's say if i'll enter any such name in over here see both of the portals are almost the same you'll not be able to you know uh, rectify if which one is what you see same so in this section uh, one of my colleague in over here has actually selected sharepoint sites so let's say if i'll click on exchange it would be showing you where to search whether to search it on all mailboxes or you need to search it on a specific mailbox so let's say if i click on all searches and it is going to search for a mailbox and now when we click on next it is going to ask me for a query what exact query i'd like to get it clear created so i just get this deleted and this would be my condition so you have these many conditions when you'd like to search for an email from sender author if you knew the size of uh, that, that email subject retention label if there's any label if you know message kind so see what is message kind equals so you see enter a message type separate multiple types of a semicolon for example if that was an email message kind you just type the word as email if it was a meeting you'll just type the word as meeting so it is only going to search for meetings across all the mailboxes because i've given the location as all mailboxes if it is going to be a contact it is only going to search for contacts Okay. so this is how it looks like if i'm going to add the second condition you see the emails which i received the emails uh which which you know which were being marked as the recipients were make, being marked as senders so sender and send these two are different two things don't get confused sent items subject to author title created so you have all these options if you would be selecting file type you see it also gives you the option if you would be searching for any file within sharepoint or onedrive you can give this option of docx ppt xx and you can just give the extension if you know the file or you can also type the name of the file if you're being aware of what the file was so it would only select that specific file across the entire organization so this is how it works One once it gets reaches with with that stage because i've just not provided any such answer over here so what i will do is i will just type the word in over here as email for this query and it is going to tell me that you know this is the name of your search this is the description in over there the location is sharepoint only which is being set to disabled okay sharepoint is disabled exchange is all okay exchange public folder is disabled so it is only going to search for emails in any uh in exchange only the moment i'll click on search it will start preparing the query for it okay and once the query gets created so let me show you here now for this one because it's being already processed but once the query runs you would be able to see in that you know i was able to run a query and i found six items out of 538 items in a mailbox of which contains 2.23 gigs under and see this data was searched across 80 mailboxes so see i hardly have like uh, not even more than 8 to 10 mailboxes but still because there are many mailboxes in the past because this tenant is like a five year old tenant have been deleted many users in the past but it still manages to get that data and across 80 mailboxes it was able to search six items with this query you see subject this test from so if an email was sent from rizwan at this dot com a gmail dot com and the second query if the subject was test so it has found six items now if i need to download these items i need to click on export results export results would give you these six items in a form of pst and if you need to click on export report if that email was read or not read and it has give, it would it, it would give you a bigger report if you want i can just download this for you so this is going to be the report and how would you like to get this report if i click on generate report so reporting would be in a form of a csv file an excel file 
which will just give you the report with all its happening and uh, detailed information because these things takes huge and ample amount of time no matter if the data is small or not a job has been created now if i'll go to search statistics search content condition report is also going to show me the location and when i'm clicking on export report because this only works with with uh, you know the edge web browser or with the internet explorer so maybe at times you know it would not be allowing me to be able to get this downloaded from here because the after starting an export an export table okay there it is I wish I'll be able to download this report so this is the time pass one hyphen export report which I have just generated let me get this downloaded last export time was this you see download result option is still not available for me because as I've told you that it would only be functional I doubt even if this gets enabled it is not usually going to uh, you know allow me to add it uh, I mean download it because I need to get this done from either Internet Explorer or the Edge web browser but yes this report would just be having an okay I believe it is simply not getting downloaded because of this size maybe let's check it out I believe all of those reports have been deleted maybe because of that it is it is not allowing us we'll, we'll quickly confirm this because every now and then this portal gets in changed I believe I need to get it started with a new one because it was being quite old and that is the reason I believe it is it has just not been allowing me to do that but just to get a click uh, you know a quick heads up on that it is just that once you would be downloading it uh, let me uh, do not do not get it processed from this site you always need to be using from this portal because if you're doing this from here and if you run this in a proper channel in a proper medium manner so the, the both of these export results and export report if you've done this and if it gets executed successfully only after that your report would be a report or your PST file would get generated and up over here in the export column okay and post which you would easily be able to download it and get it done let me check with any of my searches if there was any of my searches if I've done this in past and if there's any export backup export again this is this is being insane you know like this option was still being available but I believe they have just made the change and you cannot simply download it every time you need to get it reinitiated so you need to get this export I believe that's actually a good uh, good one that is it it is just been getting it encrypted which would definitely be containing uh, you know a, a, a expiry limit with it and it is actually good if you anyone who needs to have an active session should actually be creating a search then it would be exporting the results and downloading it that is the reason that you know it is simply not allowing this so it is complete because the same logic is going with e-discovery as well along uh, sim so as to with content search I believe uh, this 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 session in over here was being quite handy to you guys to be able to make it understand as if you know how does this, how to create a search how to apply the query and how to get the data extracted and uh, and get it downloaded in the form of a report it would be a CSV Excel file and if it would be a PST so it would be like a data PST which you can just download it onto your local computer and get the data accessed okay so that would be all from my side for this specific session if you had any questions for me to answer you can simply draw me an email on info at aliveconsulting.com and i'd be more than happy enough to help you on that that is it guys you take care of yourself and you stay safe stay safe and stay blessed Bye bye